This video is sponsored by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence. This is how I thought my art looked like versus how it actually looks like. First of all, what the heck are those thin lips? Those lips are a crime against humanity. Furthermore, why did that green color come out of nowhere? Like literally, the colors are just throwing me off. Anyway, let's just start. Let's get rid of the background color because it's hurting my eyes. All right, so before y'all come after me in the comments, I want to clarify that this is my old art. So I do have a right to roast my own art. Anyway, first of all, that hair is preposterous. We are just going to remove his hair. Remember guys, imagine them as bald people before growing hair. I've said this so many times, old Colleen just don't get it. I am dissociating myself from my past self. I don't know her. I'm just correcting the jawline, making it thinner, and I'm just gonna add my signature vampire blush on him. Okay, so we're now going to proceed to the eyes. Let's turn it into these foxy, seductive eyes. Then we're gonna choose a shade of green that actually doesn't look ugly. This is literally the only shade of green that is acceptable, okay? Everything else, Shrek. Also gonna add like these smegzy eye bags. Then I'm gonna raise his eyebrows just a little bit. Right, so he looks sassy. Alright, so I'm just gonna polish the eyes a bit more. And the juicy highlight, most of all. Alright, I literally spent like 5 minutes trying to draw his bushy eyebrow. Alright, next we're going to fix those disgustingly non-juicy lips. Listen, I don't care if you have thin lips. Thin lips? can also be juicy. We're gonna slightly make his mouth open. It makes him look like a vampire that's about to suck your blood, and that's hot. As for this chin, listen, the chin is a muscle. It pokes out. So we're gonna make it look like it's poking out. Also, when the face is half shaded like this, there's a little triangle light on the darker side like this. Don't forget about that. Alright, so I'm having so much fun with the eyes. We're just gonna add some more bling bling. Eyelashes, you know? I don't want to hear anybody in the comments saying that eyelashes are for girls. Some guys have longer eyelashes than women, and saying that is disrespectful to those gasified men straight up. Anyway, we're just gonna do the same stuff on the other eye. Yeah, uh, I'm not feeling this. I'm just gonna move the eyes higher. Alright, so he's looking a bit like a yassified Voldemort right now, so I better do his nose. For the nose, let's just do this triangle, and then we're gonna shade this part here, but not too much. And then we're gonna smoothen the shadows. Then we're gonna make his jaw a bit thinner for that anime look. I don't know about you guys, but that neck looks like a smooth sausage. So this YouTuber dude I watch, he said that when you're painting a neck, first thing you gotta do is you gotta turn it into a cylinder. Shade it as if it was a cylinder, like a 3D circle chew thing, in case you don't know what that is. But of course, add this Megzi Adam's apple. I don't know how to explain it, but we'll shade it like this. It kind of forms like a V. And yeah, let's just leave it for later. Anyway, now going back, let's add a deeper color for those lips. I had a sudden strong urge to add stripes on his eyebrows. Tell me, I'm not the only one who finds this like super hot. Like, yeah, stripes. That's hot. It's like I'm in kindergarten. Anyway, before we proceed, I just want to give a quick shout out to Squarespace. Look at my beautiful website, guys. This is all thanks to Squarespace's beginner-friendly platform. This baby took me less than two hours to create. So, right off the bat, they already have website templates that make your website look professional. So, if you're an artist, a businessman, a content creator, or all of the above, like, <laughs> me. Squarespace is perfect for you. You can showcase your portfolio if you're an artist, 
look at that. Or you could even create blog posts if that's your cup of tea. And guys, I am even considering launching a merch store using Squarespace, so wait for that. I found out that there's actually a ton of Squarespace extensions that you can use to make life easier for you. And you guys know how it is around here. We work smart, not hard. So if you want to check Squarespace out, head on over to squarespace.com slash coolin to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using code coolin. Moving on. Okay, so this hair is really bothering me, so I'm just gonna put a placeholder, just gonna draw a rough shape, and yeah, I don't really know. It's just very rough. Okay, so anyway, just a quick before and after, guys. This is a whole different drawing, guys. Like, it literally changed so much after making the lips juicy. Okay, so I'm gonna do this suit now. I mean, honestly, I'm pretty sure I never ever used references back then because what the heck is that shading? Okay, wait, sorry. Uh, I get distracted really easily. I just noticed that the other eye doesn't have eyelashes. So let's just fix that real quick. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway. This is honestly like a really boring pose and suit. Like you could literally see this exact same drawing with the same crap somewhere on Pinterest. Like at least make it hot, right? So let's add the big puffy jacket thing. Dang, I could never be in the fashion industry because I don't even know the fancy terms for clothing. Anyway, then we're gonna make the overall suit darker. Also, like I thought it would be cool if we made his head tilt a bit. You know what guys? I you literally can't wing it. When it comes to clothing, you need to have defined shapes, don't just wing it, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw these lines first, these guidelines, so that I know what shape the clothing will be. Okay, so a few moments later, it's less crap now. Anyway, when it comes to like coloring clothes in general, it's about drive. It's about power. Clothing is like totally different from skin because the shading is a lot more defined and you just can't blend things out of nowhere, okay? Painting the clothes took me like 40 minutes, which is already pretty long, okay? I have like the attention span of a dog. But my number one tip though, use a dang reference, obviously. And also this brush, really good for blending. It's in the description if you want it. Anyway, like for the tie, for example, the first thing you're gonna do is the shape. So you're just gonna draw the shape you want it to have and then you're gonna shade it with another color. Imagine that the tie is a tube. It's not a flat object so that's gonna help you shade it. Just imagine that. Alright so let's just quickly do the ears. Make it kind of red. Do the complicated maze thingy and then just make it defined using a light color. Alright time to finally do the hair. It has been bothering me for a minute there. First things first, draw the outline like always, don't wing it, okay? Then just fill it with some color. Let's try putting a light color like this. Kind of weird, but okay, I like it. Then I'm gonna do the hairline. All right, all right, let me teach y'all a magic trick. So for the highlight, just basically draw this halo thingy. It depends on the light, but for this one, the light is basically all the way up. Then just use the same brush to erase and feather it out. A very lazy trick, but genius nonetheless. You're welcome. Anyway, the original piece has this maroon-ish background. I don't like putting backgrounds, but okay, let's do this. I just basically put a shadow like this. All right, and now we're done. Here's a quick time lapse in case you wanna see the whole process. The original art sucked, but honestly, it wasn't too bad. Like, I was like 12 back then. Anyway, thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. Go watch this video next, and I'll see you there. Stay cool.